Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon to everyone. Here is Aristo Curious and welcome to my channel. Basically, I talk about Hattrick, so feel free to pick any of the videos that you can see right now on the screen. I like this one very much. It's a li little fast trailer that I did about Hattrick. And I'm also loving this one, how to play 550 formation. In this set today, we are going to be talking about a very interesting topic. We're going to be talking about coaches and see how you can save money with your future coaches. Let's get started. Okay, so the figure of the coach is a very important figure in any team. Of course, you want to have your team well trained and that's why you're going to need a coach. So basically, the coach is a very important figure in Hattrick. He's responsible for training and managing your players during the game. It's important to mention as well that he can play games as well. All new coaches of a certain skill level are equal. However, make sure you follow the skills of your coach since you will have to replace him eventually. We're going to talk a little bit about my current coach and why I need to change him. In addition to that, the more talented your coach is, the more effective training will be. A coach can never be better than excellent and all new teams get a passable coach to start with. Important factor to consider. However, keep in mind, after your coach has been in your club for one season, his leadership skill will start to slowly deteriorate and that is going to be a problem. And once your coach reaches disastrous leadership, the deterioration starts hitting his trainer skill instead. This is Joseph Jelzinski. This is my coach. And as you guys can see, his leadership is disastrous. So slowly the coaching skill is going to start changing. Um, as of now, it's solid but it can change to a possible at any time, honestly, and this is going to be a problem. So I am trying to make some changes in my coaching staff. Keep your coach with assistants. You want to do it. Very important. Just imagine Pep Guardiola without his assistant coaches. That is going to be a problem. My suggestion is to get two of them and your training speed will increase by 35%, which is insane. I have made a bit about that, so feel free to check it out. Super important if you guys want to take advantage of that. When it comes to the abilities of coaches, there are three different types. There is the neutral coach, there is the offensive coach, and the defensive coach. It's kind of depending on the way you play. You want to pick one or the other. Of course, once you pick one, you cannot change unless you fire your coach and then you get another one. But anyway, the neutral coach, there's no preference, and it boosts the team attack and defense ratings equally. So there is no specific influence compared to, for instance, the offensive coach in which it's more like an attacking nature and it boosts the team attacking ratings. It's, it stimulates a team to play more offensively compared to the neutral coach. The offensive one offers a boost of an 8% to attack ratings, but with a negativity of 11% on the defense ratings. In addition to that, there is the defensive coach, of course, as I was saying before, and they have defensive nature. And basically, uh, compared to the neutral coach, the offensive one offers a boost of a 14% to your defense ratings, but with a penalty of an 8% to your attack ratings. Depending on the way you're going to be playing, you should consider these three options. There's also the training skill, in which this skill will help you train your players, and this skill can never be rated higher than excellent. It is important, though, the increase in the coach performance between levels is, like with regular players' skills, non linear. This means that a gap between a solid coach and an excellent coach is smaller than the gap between a possible coach and a solid coach in terms of the effect of the training. So a high-level coach might not be always the best solution for you. If you can see on the right hand of the screen, there are the different uh, coach training efficiencies. Uh, basically, it's compared to 100% of a solid one. So the benchmark is 100% with solid. And then there is excellent, pass excellent solid, passable, inadequate, weak, and poor. As you can see from passable to solid, there's a 10% difference and from solid to excellent is a 5%, maybe a little bit more. So this said, having an excellent coach is going to be a lot of money. So you want to look that into account. So maybe having an excellent coach is not the best thing if you don't want to invest all the money. But we're going to talk about that in a little bit and talk about pricing as well. The leadership skill is also important. This is a common skill to all players, but that coaches use it in a different way. Leadership affects how quickly team spirit changes. If the team spirit is low, a coach with good leadership will increase the rate of regrowth. And if the team spirit is high, he will decrease the level of deterioration. So important facts to consider here. And of course, the skill deterioration, 
that's a problem that it happens. So you want to make sure that you're taking care of that. Your coach leadership and training skills are not eternal. They will slowly begin to deteriorate over time. This will not begin until after your coach first season has ended. Therefore, the deterioration is very slow and it affects first the leadership and then finally the training skill. So it can take up to 10 seasons to complete his pro this progression. You will want another coach well before then. And that's what's going on with me. Um, as you can see, all the skills of my of my coach is zero. So that means that this is not going to decrease anymore. And he has a disaster leadership, which is a problem. Again, he's still a solid coach. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that. And this is what are we going to be talking about right now. You can hire different coaches. It could either be external or internal. And we're going to talk about that as of now. We're going to do first quick demonstration. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go ahead and click on a staff. And then I'm going to click on change coach. So I have two options, go with external recruiting. And I click here. I'm trying to look for a neutral and the leadership is going to be passable. And I'm clicking passable because I'm going to show you something in a little bit. So please bear with me here. I'm trying to get an excellent coach, but check the price. It's $12.5 million. This is very, very expensive, but that's an option that I have, right? Getting a coach from, from external from another source however there is also an option in which you can hire one of your players to become a coach and this is very interesting so if i click here and i go to use existing player i need to first select the best player or the player that i think is going to be the best as a coach and i have detected that mark garrison might be a good option for me so i click on this one and remember before i said that I would get a, a possible with possible leadership. And this is what's going on right now. And look at the, at the excellent level. It's only 4.5 million. So there is literally a lot of difference. It's $8 million difference for me to get this one, which is, it was Mark Garrison, who is actually, it's currently a player, instead of getting one from the external, which is gonna cost me 12.5 million. So this is very interesting. And I think you guys should check out that as well. In order to see if one of your players is going to be good enough to be a coach. The first step is to check on the experience. My guy has an eight of experience, which is not too bad, but this is the best thing. Leadership is a six out of seven. If I click on, on, on here, you're going to be able to see that the highest level of leadership is solid and mine is possible already, which are, which is great news. Therefore, if I go back here, as you guys can see, as I was saying before, it's an, an excellent of experience, so that's great. Going back to the presentation, my idea, what I think, my idea, what I think is bad is that the leadership skills has to be at least passable, and then current player must be at least passable experience as well. With that, you are going to be able to see if this player is going to be good enough to become a coach. There, you can also check how many of how many of hidden points the player has. To do that, the player must have a minimum of inadequate experience and have been in the club for at least 16 weeks. There is an interesting link, which is this one, that it's little, literally gonna tell you how many experiences needed in order to in increase your level of experience and with that pay more or less money depending on what you're gonna get. I'm gonna drop this link in the comments for you guys to check it out, but I think it's very interesting and this will save you a lot of money. So again, Check for all players that they've been playing or they are currently playing a lot. Um, this is currently an active player and he's doing pretty well. He's doing five stars, which is not bad whatsoever, but definitely my idea of him is to become a coach. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you everyone. Please let me know if you have any questions and I'm happy to talk to you at your convenience. Bye-bye, have a good day.